We'll get it. All right, sweet. Sweet. All right, okay. We should be good now. We should be good. We should be good now. Yep, that we are. G'day, legends. TJC Sports here. Welcome back to another live stream reaction. Obviously, our second of today. We but... It is far from the second best today. It is the NRL's oldest rivalry, arguably, not arguably, probably is the NRL's biggest rivalry. The Sydney Roosters versus the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Two teams who absolutely despise each other. You could argue rich versus poor, Eastern Suburbs versus Redford. Massive, massive consequences in this one. A game where form is completely thrown out the window. A game where both teams are bouncing off a loss. Rabbitohs are yet to win a game this season. Jackie Boy White is making his first game for them. So much to take into account here. This is also plenty of Roosters and Bunny's first game of this rivalry. So, 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 so much to get into here. But first off, let's get on with the team list here. For the Sydney Roosters, we have James Tedesco at fullback as the captain. With the wingers being Daniel Tupo and Dom Young. Joseph Manu and Joseph Suwali'i in the centres. Sandon Smith and Sam Walker in the halves. Jared Rhea Hargreaves with his 300th at prop with Lindsay Collins. Brandon Smith at 9. Nat Butcher and Satili Tupa Nua in the second row. And Victor Radley at lock. As for the interchange, we have Connor Watson, Nafua White, Terrell May, and Angus Crichton. Obviously, Luke Keary is out for this game, Legends, as well as Wong. But Wong's been dropped. Keary's unavailable, I believe. That's the difference there. Also, special shout out to Michael Jennings, who was promoted back to the NRL and is the 18th man for the Roosters today. As for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, technically the visiting, visiting side, even though it's Trelly Arts to them, we have Latrell Mitchell at fullback with Alex Johnson and Tarn Milne on the wings. Jack Whiten gets his first game for the Bunnies in centre with Isaiah Tass as his partner. As for the halves, we have Cody Walker and Dean Hawkins. Obviously, very controversial that was, the idea that uh, Lachlan Ilias was replaced after two rounds with Hawkins, but we digress and we wait and see how this uh, goes for them. Best of luck to Dean Hawkins in such a massive game to be brought back into the NRL. Tavisa Totola and Davey Moali as the props. Sevilla Havili as the wearing the 14 shirt, but will start at nine over Cook with Kolamatangi and Host in the second row, and Cam Murray at lock as the captain. The interchange is Damian Cook, Talis Duncan, Sean Kepi, and Tom Burgess. Pretty decent. I'm ready for this one, Legends. We've got a massive game coming up. Jared Rhea Hargreaves leading out the Roosters as it is his 300th, guys. Look at the smile on that man. He's ready. Free, his three kids there with him. Jeez, Legends, we should be in for a ripper. He's the 50th player to appear in 300 NRL games, apparently. And I can probably shout this and they'll know. Who was the first? Terry Lamb. There you go, see? Took you long enough. <laughs> Lily and Fekatoa says, this is Trell's time, man. Joseph Swilly, who is she? <laughs> who are they, legend? Who are they? Who are you? Who are you? They're going to be chanting. They're going to be chanting. No, I'm not talking to you. Roosters, yay! It's just NRL to the NBA, and it's Roosters to the win. Yeah, a lot of people are tipping Roosters in this one. I, myself, are tipping the Sydney Roosters, but Legends, this is the NRL's biggest rivalry. You can't be you can't be saying 100% anyone's going to win. This is one of the biggest games around. So many people are attending. Let's see if we can spot anyone at the crowd during this game. Latrell Mitchell, Jack White, and good mates. Will it link up well today? Colin Matuggy, guys. He's looking at everyone going, do we actually have this in the bag? Yes, we do. South Sydney Rabbitohs, Sydney Roosters, who will win? We will find out soon. The game kicks off. Lindsay Collins taking the first tackle of this massive rivalry. He is also the second biggest count, bro. Redford being recognised by TGC was probably the best accomplishment for them. <laughs> Mate, the best in general. The best I could possibly have recognised. I'm pumped for this one. And oh, 
We're not even. We're exactly 10 seconds into this game, and we have a Captain's Challenge Legends. 10 seconds into this game. Strip. 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 Lindsay Collins was stripped. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley Klein blows his whistle, and the challenge will be accepted. The Roosters get a penalty off of a strip. Beautiful challenge there. It was only 10 seconds in, so very bold, but it worked out for them. Now, up the Roosters is what I'm going to hear all about as the Chookies run forward. So, Tilly Tupanua here, smashed by Damian Moali. Jadria Hargreaves on his 300th. Forcing himself forward head first into the tackle he goes. He will not take anything from no one. He's going to make sure that he gets pummeled today. He wants to run through, do everything he can for the side. Will they need to activate their 18th man, Michael Jennings, at any point? We'll have to wait with time to find out whether that'll be the case. Now, Sydney Roosters, guys. Whether you're a fan of the Buddies or the Roosters, you can't deny how much this means for both sides. And... You also can't say that it'll mean any more to either team. Both these teams despise each other and want any, nothing more than to put the other to shame. And Jared Rhea Hargreaves, what a tackle that was! Alex Johnson, see you later! Dom Young now running in, winger to winger. Roosters on the heavy pressure right now. So far, it's only been about a minute and a half, but I've been more impressed by the Roosters at this point. Yes, the Buddies haven't had the ball yet, but geez, Roosters starting fast, but I'm sure the Buddies expected it. A little trip from South. Havili gets it back over. To be fair, in the defense of Demetrio, Havili had a great game last week when he was on the field against the Broncos despite their loss compared to Cook. I barely saw Cook last week. Barely saw him on the field, but... Um, Maybe he was just doing behind-the-scenes stuff that wasn't as noticeable, right? But it's kind of funny that you don't notice him much and then he's dropped the next week. Well, not dropped, but, you know, put out of the starting uh, 13. Lily Fekatoa says Roosters have the best de depth chart in the NRL. Their salary cap should be interesting to see. Well, I mean, I think Panthers have a great depth chart too, man. But you're right, they do have something special there, the Roosters. They do, mate. The salary sombrero is what we call it. We don't call it a cat. We call it a sombrero when we're talking about the Roosters. Brandon Smith to JWH. Oh, Colin Matangi bashed him away like he was nothing. Like he was a bag in the wind. Brandon Smith. The cheese. Turning a mozzarella through there. The cheese forward, guys. Now through the legs. We're playing a bit of a game here as they kick to the far left. Roosters for the first try of the game. Bounce, bounce, boing, boing, boing. It goes between Souths and Roosters. Is this going to be Roosters' ball, potentially? Roosters clapping. No, nah, I think it was just good pressure. Brilliant kick there from the Roosters. The pressure has been unreal to start things. Up the Roosters, says Kaka Bella. And up the Roosters. Hello, ka hello, Kaka. Hello. Up the Chooks is Viking X, mate. The Chookies, bro. Well, I do want the perfect week, but I also prefer South, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see which way it goes. I'm pumped for this one. Roosters 1-12. to I'm pumped for it too, bro. I think we're all a little pumped for this game, ain't we? Sombrero is very fitting. <laughs> Let's go, Latrell. Wake them buddies up. Wake up, buddies. Wake up. Wake up, buddies. Wake up. That's the chat you want to be like. Dominic Young down the right wing. Nobody could stop him. Seriously, what was that defense? He was like a fart in the wind. Absolutely incredible. Down the right wing. The fart in the wind. A bird to the skies. A try. The chicken has learnt how to unclip his wings. The number five, Dom Young, making himself look like an absolute legend. How incredible was that? The legend try of the week. And he, on his first game in this massive robbery, bags them the lead. The Roosters going crazy. Is that the chook pen in the background? It is. Get him going, Hainsey. Get him going. The Roosters. The Roosters with the Zambrero, baby. The beautiful, gritty defense wasn't enough. For the Roosters. He scored a try on his debut last week, Dom Young. And now he scores here. 
Dominic Young, ladies and gentlemen, making it 4-0, soon to be 6-0. <laughs> hey, it's Roosters, but would like buddies to win. Well, right now, you and I are in tough luck right now. I tipped Roosters as well, and I want buddies to win, but here you got it. And Sam Walker, right down the middle, kicks it. And no, uh, you can't stop them, you little beauty. What a try, and what a kick. 6-0. 6-0, what a night. It was the best comeback ever. Injury time. <laughs> oh, the try of the week last week is definitely Coates. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely last week, Coates was try of the week. Mate, Jackie Boy, bro. Jackie Boy, don't you disrespect my Jackie Boy, Vikanax. Mate, love Jackie. Don't you dare disrespect him. There's no disrespect for Jackie Boy on the channel. It was just a very good try from Dominic Young. A beautiful pass. A beautiful effort. Just beautiful all around, you know. Like, I actually was very enthralled watching that. Now, yeah, very enthralled. Very wow. A Mortal Wolf 21 watching. He's like, yeah, Jason Reader, thumbs up. Rah. Second tackle now. Daniel Tupo, guys. Roosters, highest try scorer. They are just running around. On the left, Cameron Murray slams Tedesco down to the ground. I love how when the two best games happen, Broncos beat Peppers, Roosters, Rabbitohs, the teams miss their best players. I know, right? Legend, when the best games happen, the best players aren't there. Brandon Smith running down the middle. The Roosters have come to party. They're ready for this one. Jack Byton, why did he leave us? He left you. Uh, well, to be fair, man, you know, I'm pretty sure it was for success, bro. You know, South Sydney, he went there because he wanted to win something with his talent. Oh, that's got to be. He's got to get in trouble for that. In the air. The referee has to break up a fight there. Surely somebody steps in about that. Ew, I don't know if he's on the ground yet. I don't know if he's on the ground yet when Suali does that. Oh. Only supporting Roosters because Lindsay Collins. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. Queensland, bro. I get ya. I get ya. Queensland. <laughs> uh, I completely get it. Now, Isaiah Tass gets it to Jacob Hosty. Jacob Host now. Host. Host with the most. With the post haste being held on the right bit of the 40 meter line here. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't stop them. The South Sydney Rabbitohs are the men's. Grub Roosters, mate. Call them grubs all you like. Well-deserved penalty. Yes. Latrell! Latrell! Showing a bit of the Tyree spirit there. Chat him, brah. Hell damn. Then it's over to the right. What about that good refereeing last game? <laughs> good refereeing legend. Yeah, well, we're going to have to say good refereeing quotation marks a lot in our lifetimes. Ilias. To Cody Walker, to Hosty. Host gets to the moment to the 10 meter line. Havili, a little bit of miscommunication. That could have been forward, actually. And yet, yet, I was going to say, I was going to say that could be forward. The ref makes his call, and it's going to be Rooster's ball. Oh, no, 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 no. Silly, man. Silly South Sydney, not making the most of their opportunities. Now the Roosters, Dominic Young. Twist and turn, grabbed by the ankle and held down. He scored the first try of the game, the only try of the game so far. What a ripper it was, though, right? Unbelievable down the right wing. Nobody... I didn't see it. It came from nowhere, Legends. It was unbelievable, actually. You know, shout out to Dom Young for his first time in this rivalry. He feels right at home. Jared Rhea Hargreaves. They've all come out to play for him here. For everybody, you got to remember, both sides will be coming to this game. But the for me, what led, led me towards the Roosters was how much more certainty I saw with the Roosters compared to the Bunnies. It's only the first 10 minutes. There's so much time for a comeback to happen, just like last game. But right now, the Roosters, they've won the first 10 minutes. And that could be crucial in a rivalry like this, where everything can be so, you know, flash in the pan. Lindsay Collins, next try, TJ says, Viking X. We'll see, mate. Lindsay Collins, next try. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe it'll happen. Lindsay Collins, to get it done, guys. Lindsay, Lindsay Dane Collins. Lindsay. Lindsay. 
Lindsay, come on, Lindsay, bruh. We love Lindsay. Now, South Sydney, guys. South Sydney Rabbitohs, they turn the ball to themselves. Third tackle here. Over through the middle. Chooks are playing a profile pace, man. Prolific pa profile. Prolific. Yeah, mate. They're playing a prolific pace right now. The Chookies, guys. Oh, my God. Jadria Hargreaves. That ball just landed for him. And he dove on it like a swan, bro. Look at that. That was one of the most gentle leaps in the air to catch a ball I have ever seen. He was just like, glop, glop, on the ground. I don't know if the man even was thinking about it. He just went, oh, here's the ball. I'm Superman, brah. Huh? I guess I'm not Superman when he landed on the ground. <laughs> man, did that look funny. Sam Walker now. That butcher. That butcher now. Butcher. It's looking scary here if you're a South fan. Sandin. Over to Tedesco. Tedesco now. Tedesco. Suali'i. Suali'i held. Joseph Su Bro, former South Sydney Rabbitoh there, there. Obviously let go because the Roosters offered him way more money. But Oh, the bounce is not in their favour. Dom Young put on the line. And Jackie Boy has to save the day for the South Sydney Rabbitohs here to get out of play. Jack White and ladies and gentlemen with the defence and a half. Jack White with the heroics to save the day for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. White, a new hero. Chooks are playing a prolific, bro. They're playing prolific. They're playing unbelievably fast. They're playing speedy Gordana style, bro. Jackie Boy White and White and cried and oh, I don't know what that was. That really shouldn't have worked for South, but it did somehow. And now they've got the ball back. Latrell Mitchell, the former Rooster. Former Rooster, former Rooster, Joey Mardu holds him off with help from JWH. Yeah, we don't even want to think of how bad Sticky Ricky is right now, Legend. Sticky Ricky's probably like, right now. He's probably peed, dude. And I don't blame him. <laughs> I can't blame him, actually. Like, seriously. You know, would you, you know he's, uh, his team, they didn't show up to the level they probably should have, eh? And, oh, what a shot on the South Sydney Rabbit over there. South now. They kick it on the fifth tackle here. They've only gained 19 metres. The fact that they've only gained 19 metres in five plays really shows you the defence of the Roosters. Roosters now. What a pass from Dom Young to Tupo. Now over to Suwali, who passes back to Tedesco. And James Tedesco knocks the ball on. Teddy Bear Tedesco, mate. He had the arms of a Teddy Bear there. Mate, floppy, no bones, clearly. Soft, must have had some kind of cushioning in there. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, legends. Silly. Just silly willy dilly. Silly willy dilly. Silly willy willy dilly, guys. James Tedesco, though, he could have run, man. He could have run, but no. Nah. He wasn't able to. That knock on. Oh, frustrating. Are you streaming to Morris as well? Heck yeah, Legend, because Paris not the vlog the vlog for Paris not till the Sunday. So yeah, Legend, we're streaming tomorrow, Mel. Don't you worry. We're streaming tomorrow. You can enjoy it. You can enjoy it for all its glory, okay? Tomorrow, guys. Rugby League live stream reactions. Heck yeah. We got a couple tomorrow, you know, Dogs Titans kicks it off. Co Colum Tuggy now down the right. I think we've got Cowboys Dragons and uh, one more that I'm forgetting. Rohanzi is sitting at the game. He'll be sitting with the Chook Pan, mate. He'll be in the heart. He'll be holding out one of the batters, I reckon, knowing how Hainsy is. Um, you probably will see. You might not spot him, but you might see one of the batters on TV because of how big they are. Cody Walker. Oh, surely a potential try for South. Isaiah Tass now. Tass couldn't get there in the end. Fifth tackle. Looks like they're going to have to attack down the left bit now. Dean Hawkins with the kick. And jo oh, that was too easy for Joseph Manu. Now the 20 meter tap. Manu's being allowed to run. Manu's being allowed to run. Manu gets just short of the halfway line. Ridiculous. 40 meter. James Tedesco. James Tedesco. James Tedesco getting like 10 meters insanity. Balloon base 7. He said GC today. That's why at GDA. Good for you, um, Jacob J. Good for you, Jacob G. I'll see 
the G the people who go to GIO Stadium for games when I go to Raiders Power in round five. Not long now, legends. Brandon Smith to Radley. Victor Radley dummies. Offloads back now. Lindsay Collins. Now to Smith. Back to Dom Young. Dominic Young. He's going alone. Dominic Young, legends. Held down. Now to the left. Long pass. Sam Walker kicks low. Knock on from south. And Sam Walker scores for the Roosters. Sam Walker. It was a complete mess up. But he's got it. Sam Walker, legends. The Chookies. The Chookies celebrate with glee. The Eastern Suburbs are on top at this very moment. Chooks putting to bed the buddies at this point in time. It was a complete fluke. But Walker won't complain. Buddy's completely misreading that. Lager would be proud of that chase. You little beauty, says Jason Reader. Sam, Wal Sam Walker, guys. Walker's on. Little Legs gets it over. That's right. Good old Little Legs, Sammy Walker. Walker's on. Try confirm. 10 nil, guys. And right now, the game's going as expected. But, of course, you know, poor, maybe the Bunnies bounce back at some point. But right now, I'm just I'm just looking at it and going, it's Roosters, bro. It's Roosters. It's Roosters. It's Roosters game, right? Oh. Roosters, 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 Roosters. <laughs> Sam Walker. Who would have fucked that, right, when you were thinking of tries for this game? Sammy, it wasn't as nice as you would have wanted it to be, but still. And Sam Walker now, he's got a majority of the points today. Once he backs this kick, yet. And it is 12-0 to the Sydney Roosters. The little leg magician, Mr. Sam Walker. Sam Walker, guys. Ridiculous ability in his feet there, right? Brilliance at its finest to view. For a spectacle of viewing us. This is, mate, this ain't no piece of regular footy. This is, this is rivalry, mate. This is passion. This is effort. Everything. Now, the South Sydney Rabbitohs kick us back off here. If the Roosters keep it up, mate, it could be a terrible, terrible rivalry game. Ah, uh, 12-0 right now. Warriors didn't look this dominant versus the Raiders. It looked a lot closer. I, I still think, you know, if Warriors uh, Raiders was South Roosters, it would have been considered a much more, you know, rem memorable rivalry. 12 nil right now, just no. Nah. South, at this rate, you're going 0 and 4. It's way too early to say, but at this rate, Sam Walker and Tom Deere and next Queensland halves, post DC and Munster. Mate, I would take it. I would take it, legend. And Pat Carrigan as the new captain. Bro, perfect. Perfect for Queensland legend. 100% I'd take it. That's a beautiful thing. Also put Jermaine on the interchange, bro, and you're rolling. Jermaine on the interchange and you're rocking. You're partying. You're having the best time of your life. Jackie Boy Whiten. They're running at them. Tackled now. Down over to the left. I haven't seen enough of Whiten so far to be too happy. Then gets it short. Tard Mill now. Tard Mill, he scored more than you'd think he would have for the Rabbitohs. Havili. Havili's really got a point to prove with the fact that, obviously, he replaced Damian Cook in the lineup. Oh! Will says um, Rabbits are in serious trouble 24-24. The first few rounds are anything to go by. I know, Legend. They're in some serious trouble of these first few rounds. Uh... I always said it, right? Why tip the South Sydney Rabbitohs to bounce back so well, but not Para, you know? Like, in my opinion, it really... To think Para wouldn't improve at all, but South would just because of Jackie Boy was kind of funny to me. Like, I thought Jackie Boy might make them a little better, but, like, you know, Rabbitohs and Para finished on, like, the same kind of points area, you know? We both missed the eight barely by point difference. Now, guys, the Sydney Roosters... Over the halfway bit here. Kicks it far. Over to the 10 meter line. Oh, this could go out of play here. Not a great kick. Or could it be the perfect kick? 
Could it be the perfect kick off the buddy and out? Could it be off the buddy and out? Alex Johnson's pointing to the spot going, nah, 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 to Ashley Clyde. Ashley Clyde's going, you listen to me, Alex Johnston. You listen to me. Yep, it hit the line before it went out. It hit the line before it hit AJ and went out. It should be a 20-meter tap. It should be. Yep. Yep, the ref gets the bunker. The bunker steps in and tells him, and now we're going to carry on like nothing happens. Luckily, I changed my tip so far. Well... I stuck with the Roosters, man, and it's uh, it's working out for me, but, um, you know, it doesn't mean I'm necessarily happy. I want the Buddies to give them a game and win, possibly win, you know? Mate, I've had my bro, hair reveal. Just look at last stream when I got frustrated. Ah. <laughs> okay, guys, now, the South City Rabbitohs, Dean Hawkins, Roosters. Oh, I'm so hard. He catches that. He's away. He's away if he catches that. Ridiculous. Rabbitohs, wake up. Wake up. 12 nil. The Roosters just with the dominance. The dominance for hours. Oh. Too much. 7-7, seven and seven, Hawkins and Walker. Could that be the future of South Sydney and the Eastern Suburbs right there in that image? Iconic much, maybe? Looks more into the game than Buddies. Mate, Shooks look might way more into the game than the Buddies right now. It's it's early, but like, yeah, they look way more into it, legend. Way more. It's actually kind of scary how much more the Roosters look into it than the Buddies. What did they get? Like 20 metres? in one, 19, actually, in, one, in a whole set at one point. Like, the Roosters are holding them out, Legends. Really. On the 10 meter line now. Cookie's finally on the field. Gets it back to Walker. Cody Walker back to Tass. Bird tackle now. Tass held down here. Now, Cook. Back to Murray. Cameron Murray. Cameron Murray for the try line! Oh, Murray. Murray could not get there in a hurry. Held down. And now Cody Walker kicks low, and the Roosters are going to have to hit it out of play. Daniel Tupo with the brilliant defense there. Good pressure from South Sydney. It only took them 21 minutes. Yeah, I'm tipping zero dollars on Chooks. <laughs> tipping zero dollars on Chooks at this rate. The May Brothers could get the dra go to the Dragons. Sports TJC. Uh, I don't think they'll end up at the... Uh, I don't think they'll end up at the Dragons legend. I think that he'll end up that they'll end up at the Roosters of anything. Taylor May restarting till twenty six, I think, changes the plans. Maybe Terrell goes to Panthers at that rate, but I don't think he will, because he would want good money, and I don't know when a Panthers could possibly afford the afford it, right? Surely not. Surely not, right? Like if they did, I'd be asking questions. If he went, if they went to Dragons, they would be good additions, but they're not just what the Dragons need. The Dragons need a whole rework if they want to be doing better right now. This just, this isn't where it starts. Damien Cook to go alone for the try here. Damien Cook held back. And it's six again for South Sydney. Roosters fans, shut your eyes in the defense here. Cody Walker, back to Colomatuggy. Colomatuggy, mate, key on Colomatuggy. Will anybody tackle him? No. Offloads back to Ilias. Now to Host. Jacob Host for the line. Host held back. Now Hawkins. To Murray. And they're saying, uh, bad. what was that? What was that? Bad play of the ball, they're saying. Yeah, bad play of the ball, apparently, legends. Jacob Host. Yeah, he didn't touch it. Jacob Host didn't touch the ball. He acted like he did, but he didn't touch it. It was a fake out, bro. Taylor May won't go to the Roosters because he's re-signed till 2026, legend. He was rumoured to go there, but he won't go there anymore after signing till 26 with the Panthers. Unless he cancels his contract after a year, but the point is he won't be leaving at the end of this season to anyone. He'll be staying with the Panthers at least for another season. And I reckon to, he will live out his two-more-year contract. Then maybe he goes to a team like the Roosters, but... At this moment, nah, Pampers, bro. Pampers is where he'll stay. Be a physio. Thoughts on Reese Walsh? Well, there was always a concern about a fracture. They did find something in his cheek, bro. So Walsh should be out for about a month at least, man. Not great to see. 
Not great to see. You hate seeing players get injured like Walshy Boy. He goes from a 10 out of 10 to a freaking 7 out of 10. Though, then again, it could be 11 out of 10 if the scar heals right. Victor Radley, down the left. Victor, the inflictor, inflicting damage on the South Sydney Rabbitohs here. James Tedesco, the teddy bear. The teddy bear trying to show the magic in his arms. Holds down Walker now. Mate, that is a bomb. What a kick. And oh, it ends up in the hands of Lindsay Collins. And now Lindsay Collins charges forward where the ref now calls it back and says a knock on, I think, probably. No one how it is. Lindsay Collins is like, nah, man, bro, get out of here. Get out of here, Collins is saying. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't, don't even try to mess with me. Don't even try. Don't even try, mate. You can't handle me. Don't even try. Now move. Vamoose. Isaiah Tass. Tass. Tass is it. Cookie, guys. He's got a point to prove now that he's been put on the interchange. Number nine. Passes backwards. Cam Murray now held down the captain here. Good luck for Sunday, TJC. I'm mate. Mate, I, I will need it a little with the form of Manly, all right? Seriously. I'm ready for Sunday, but, you know, still got a few streams to go before that, don't we, Legends? Still got a few streams before we stress about that game. Yeah, he re-signed, mate. He re-signed for the uh, Pampers, so he won't be off to the Roosters right now. Not, not right now, at least. Not right now. Maybe in the future, but not at this, uh, not at this time. Alrighty. Mr. Butcher. Nat Butcher. Can he butcher the competition and go over? Natty Butcher. Down the left. Held down. Now Brandon Smith goes back to Victor Radley, who goes to Joseph Swali. Joseph Swali to James Tedesco. James Tedesco. Teddy, Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear Tedesco. James Tedesco. The Rabbitohs managed to barely catch him. Mr. Sean Kepi, the former Seagull, will be playing his former team Sunday. And, oh, that bounce is so awkward for South. But Alex Johnson manages to just barely collect it, even though Collins, Dob Young, and the lot were chasing him down. Alrighty, legends, let's just rearrange ourselves here. Sheesh. Ready. We've got about, uh, so, no, so we've got about 14 minutes left in the first half, legends, at this rate, and the buddies have never looked like really going over. Uh, if I'm being honest, they they had their chances, but like you wouldn't call them real chances. Now fifth tackle. Oh, is that a knock on? Is that a knock on from Cody Walker? Yes, it is. <laughs> Cody Walker knocks the ball on legends. Oh, you're joking. Cody Walker knocking the ball on forward pass dumb ref. <laughs> nah, and he actually copped it high, but you know. Point is, he knocked it on. Now it's going to be Rooster's ball. Oh. If you're South, so you got to feel frustrated right now, don't you? you got to be really frustrated with how this game has turned out for you at this point in time, Legends. Not what you wanted to see or hear or do. Now, Brandon Smith. Over to the left. Gets it over. Terrell May now. Terrell May. May. Terrell May, we were talking about him earlier with the potential of Taylor, but nah, Terrell May is alone. The best he'll get is possibly getting Tyrone May to sign with the Roosters. Um, how many forward passes were in the last game? Bro, forward passes are just... I love it how they don't notice the most obvious forward pass, and then sometimes it will be so minute and they'll notice it. It's like their eyes just don't want to recognise it at points. James Tedesco, long pass, Dom Young, are they going to stop him? No, they're not. Sam Walker's going to have a double here. Sam Walker has two legends for the Sydney Roosters in this game. Two. The Chook Pen goes wild. Keep, keep Australia safe, bro, with a picture of the bunnies in the bin. What a sign. Brilliant. The Sydney Roosters, ladies and gentlemen. Dom Young has had a ripper of a game. And Sam Walker, while you could argue, has been a little fortunate. 
You can't deny the fact that it takes a level of skill to be in the right situation for that to happen in the first place. You beauty. Sam Walker literally that time walks on. Walker's on, bro. T-R-Y, it's a try. Sam Walker. Dom Young, the Newcastle Knights will be crying looking at how good that was from him. Brilliant. And once again, where is the defense at the back from Latrell Mitchell? Once again, Latrell way too far off and not down the middle. Really starting to call into question from people whether he is a, a fullback. Listen, I loved I love I love Latrell in my way, and you know, I respect him, but he he should be there there. He should be there, if we're being honest. That that That's his job, that, that area there to defend. I get he's higher up, but, mate, he needs to be reading it. He needs to be watching. He needs to be backing AJ to chase and be watching Sam Walker. It's about picking the right times to run, mate. It's what makes you a fullback or a center. And right now, he hasn't found it, and it's resulted in a 16-0 lead to the Roosters, soon to be 18. Not good enough. Roosters win, it'll be free from free. Yep, I'll be free from free as well, man. Yeah, it's 16 nil, legend. Um, and it's an NBA edits, bro. I don't always... Uh, by the way, don't need to always say score because sometimes I don't update it till they've taken the kick. I also want to keep that in mind for people. 18 nil there. See, because, like, you so quickly have to update the score, like, poo poo. Like, there's no point. Okay, sometimes. Walker, number two. He bags two... Tries two 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 two. He's in his two 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 phase. We're in the two two Sam Walker. Dom Dom Young will get booed at at Newcastle when the Roosters play the Knights. Oh mate, if it happens, it happens. I I feel like you're being a little harsh, Bill, with him. He just went to the team that should give him a better chance at winning a premiership. I don't think you should really blame Dominic Young for going to the Roosters from the Knights. If I was in his position, I probably would have done the same too. But you know, that's just my opinion. You know, because the Roosters would be paying him better too, probably. You know, and it's not like he'd have a poor time living in the Eastern Suburbs, am I right? Not like he'd have a poor time. CJ and Cody will not be happy. Mate, none of the Rabbitohs fans will be happy. And can you, you can't be furious with them about it because this has been a terrible first half an hour from the bunnies 18 now goodness me man not good enough south just uh oh, muppet hour i tell you south sydney i oh, slap in the face there a little from satilli but dean hawkins keeps a strong nerve a will of eye and a will of steel sam walker the double try scorer kicking high and collected by alex johnston alex johnston aj with the burst of speed, AJ, 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 and with Jackie Boy in Canberra, mate. Jackie Boy's head is still in Canberra right now. I haven't seen him much this game at all. Bit of a letdown, to be honest, because we all know how good Jackie Boy can be at his best. Jack Whiten now, and oh, what a fan. Brilliant, Jackie Boy, you legend. Brilliant. Now, just get past the halfway line. What was that pass? There's no organization right now from him. Dominic Young scored first. Yes, he did, mate. Yes, he did score first. I know that, legend. Dominic Young bagged the first try of the game. It was great from him. And then, of course, you know, Sam Walker bagged two tries. Now, Dean Hawkins kicks. Dean Hawkins so far, he could be doing worse, but he could be doing better as well, you know. Um, I'm not seeing right now exactly a reason to have dropped Ilias. I get changes have to be made, but I don't know if dropping Ilias was the way to go necessarily with those changes. Um, whether you think Hawkins is better or not, it doesn't seem to have made much of a difference at this point in time for me. Yeah, I'm reading your comments and answer and NBA. It just takes time to read them, bro. It takes time to read them. I'm sorry if you're not listening to me reading them. Next week, the Rabbitohs got the dogs at a cool stadium. That they do, legend. There they got You got your first try scorer, mate. Glad to see that you got your first try scorer, mate. Next week, the Rabbitohs got the dogs, bro. Well, hopefully the Rabbitohs smash the doggies, mate. Curse the dogs. Hopefully they smash them. Hit them dead, bro. Smash them. Smash them. Mitchell is getting booed. Well, of course Mitchell's getting booed, bro. Of course Mitchell's getting booed. Roosters do not like him. They do not like him. I believe I saw a post on the Chook Pen, which is like the Roosters fan thing, that said, 
that said we don't forgive traitors. They view him as a traitor. I had two comments in the chat. Yeah, and I read them, Legend. I read them. You gotta remember, mate. You gotta remember, it's not easy to read everybody's comments. And as a mod, you have the responsibility to know that above anyone else. Viking Axe says AJ needs two more. Tried, tried to leave him. Billy Slater, 190 try points. TJC Forts. Ah. Oh. Look, two more tries to le to level it with Billy Slater. I, uh, I I don't know if he's going to do it this game, Legend. Okay, this game's not the game for it to happen, I don't think. I think Alex Johnson this year will level with Billy Slater, but I don't think it'll be this game. Mate, I don't have a favourite moderator. I don't have a favourite moderator. I just um, I just appreciate them showing... Show, showing respect and um, understanding that I can't get to everyone quickly. Joseph Suwali. Joseph Suwali down the left edge. Now Connor Watson looking both ways. The former Newcastle Knight. Is nobody going to boo Connor Watson? He's a former Knight. Where's his booing? Mate, where's where's his booing, bro? Where's the booing on freaking uh, him? What, what do you mean just booing on Dom Young, bro? Former Knight him too. Get, get him. Get mad at him. Get mad at him too. Mate, Dom Young's having an absolute cracker today out of the tech, guys. Sam Walker. Oh, what a kick. What a hit. And South Sydney, Latrell Mitchell. Latrell Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen, with the catch. Brilliance from him. And he's in the right place at the right time there. TJC Sports with your host, TJC Sports. We need a new segment, bro. Thoughts with your host, TJC Sports, bro. How we going, legends? Thank you, thank you. We should. <laughs> Roosters, guys, just being too good right now. Dom Young and Watson reunite, re reunite again. They do, bro. Dom Young and Watson. Once again, together, from Knights to Roosters. Where's their boo, though? You know, don't boo Dom Young. Mate, don't pick who you boo. Don't pick and choose because one was a better player than the other. Same kind of thing. Colin Matangi. Keon Colin Matangi. Oh, my God. What a run. Isaiah Tass. Tass now. Tass. And this is an amazing run on the fourth tackle. One more left in the set. Don't give the Roosters time to get onside. Latrell Mitchell. Back over to Cody Walker. And it'll be six again. And no, it won't be because they knocked it on. It should be a penalty, though, for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Roosters doing what they had to to keep the Bunnies out of play. A little bit of a poorly timed effort from them, but it's better than conceding, I guess, right? Roosters versus Pampers next week. I feel like I'll be tipping the Pampers in that one, but, you know, Roosters have looked decent this season, haven't they? They really have, but I do think I was him in the Pampers, unfortunately, for you in that one. Should be a good game, though. Really should be. Should be a very exciting one to watch. Hopefully, better than this first half, right? That's why Lachlan was needed. That's why he was needed in the Lady Rooney Legends. In D Rooney, that is why he was needed. Dom Young now. Connor Watson to Terrell May. Terrell May now down the middle here. May. Cookie holding him back with help with Murray and Cappy. Murray and Cappy keeping him out. And oh! Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. Sean Cappy, guys. He had the same problem last week versus the Broncos. He can't keep it still. Penalty. Hi. I think it's a leg lift thing. Okay, legend. Dangerous potentially. That one I'm going to go with. Point is, it's a penalty for the Sydney Roosters now. Sydney Roosters running down. Challenge type Tino's last name for Suama. Mate, for Suamale, bro. For Suamale. Type for Suamale. Try to get it right, legends. I said it last. I'm going to say it again. I'll remember Wakem go over the sideline in nine years' time. We'll always remember that, legend. Wakem. Bring that up when we watch the Tigers play, Legend. When we watch the Tigers play, bring that up. That'll be funny. Sharks-Tigers. That's the other game that's tomorrow. Just clicked in my head. <laughs> now, Sandon Smith. That's right, guys. Hopefully, Brandon Smith and Sandon Smith can link up so we can be like Brandon to Sandon, Smith to Smith. Sam Walker. Tedesco. James Tedesco. 
Rabbit, I predict missing top eight. Mate, Rabbitohs missing the top eight. I mean, if they keep playing like they are right now, then yeah. But, um, you know, it's way too soon to be making that kind of call by Canucks. Um, you know, I think we're way too early in the year to be tipping uh, that kind of thing, to be going down right now. Going down, 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 town, slam town. It's way too soon, legend. Way too soon. Way too soon. Way too soon. Now, Tarn Milne. Tarn Milne over to Satili Tupanua. Satili Tupanua then gets it back to De Dean Hawkins. Damien Cook. Damien Cook running it. He's running it like Brandon Smith. He's going back to his prime here, Damien Cook. Damien Cook down the middle. Damien Cook gets smashed. Now, Talis Duncan. Over to Latrell. Latrell. Back. Over. Whiten gets it to Alex Johnson. Alex Johnson now gets to the 20 and is now held down. And now kick tight. Yes, tomorrow I will absolutely let you bring it up when that game comes up. It'll be great. I'm enjoying the early game. I'm enjoying this game. These early games. Bro, I enjoyed the early game more, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the early game. The early game was great. Very tight, very keen, very interesting. Point is, Souths win a penalty now, Legends. Doesn't matter what we think of the earlier game, where obviously the Warriors barely managed to win about eight points, I think it was, over the Canberra Raiders. The Sydney Roosters have conceded the pen. The Rabbitohs will get a chance from their 20-metre line to stop the Roosters. If I'm the, They've got one minute, guys. They've got one minute to change it all. The Roosters just have to hold on for 60 seconds, and then they will have kept them scoreless in the first half. Cameron Murray now. Murray, Starry Murray, Cookie, back over to Duncan, gets it to Sean Kepe, oh, line ball pass there, but we're going to let it slide, no, we're not going to let it slide, the ref comes back, and now the Bunnies muck up their last opportunity, I think, in the half to score a try, 18 now, it'll remain with 20 seconds to go, being handed over to the Roosters. Mate, go to Rabbitohs as a mortal of 21. Go to Rabbitohs, bro. I don't think you can say that the Bunnies, um, unless the Bunnies have a much better second half. I mean, look, it's not out of the realms of possibility. You know, if I'm JD, I'm going, um, you know, the first half, guys. If they can do that in the first half, we can do it in the second half while they're tired. That's how I would be talking to my team. But um, I'm not Jason Demetrio, the coach, so we'll have to wait and see. Go the Roosters, says my serial-loving friend at Coil Strike, you legend, bro. Go to the Roosters, mate. It's going to be shouted all throughout Allianz. We are the Roosters, the best you've ever seen. The red, white, and blue stars, the Eastern Suburbs team. Oh! Steggles on the front there. Victor Radley talking as he heads into the sheds. Brilliance from him. Mate, overall, this entire game has been great from the uh, Roosters and the Bunnies. Uh, I mean, not the Bunnies. And the Roosters and the game in general have been great. Bunnies, oh. look, we'll get into it now at the halftime bit, all right? I've, I've almost lost my voice and we've still got 40 minutes to go. <laughs> I can't. Super Saturday's going to be crazy. <laughs> all right. Half time. It is the TJC Sports Halftime Show with your host. DJC Sports. Come on, legends. All right. Okay. Stick with me if you want to at halftime, legends, as we enjoy a hopefully good game. All right. It is. The Sydney Roosters Bunnies. Roosters lead 18 nil. The Bunnies just not quite good enough at this rate. I'm not saying anything like too harsh because like I do like the Bunnies, the Burrow follow me and all that, and I do respect them. But even they got to recognize how poor this game was. You know, even they got to realize how poor this game was. The Roosters just too good. The Roosters have been the better team, and I don't even want to. I don't even think it's an argument in that instance. It's it's pretty clear that Roosters have been the best around at this point in time. You're the best around. Nothing's going to bring you down, Roosters. 
Saturday tomorrow, Rugby NRL. Yes, yes, Raid Nichols. Well, we've got Super Saturday tomorrow, so we've got a big bunch of things up, Raid Nichols. A big, long half uh, still to go as well as a long day tomorrow. Let's go, Legends. Let's go, Legends. Let's go, Jacob. Jacob, Jesus, go para, go para, man, go para, go para, let's go para, let's go, let's go para, let's go, <coughs> nah, wrong game for it, let's go Rabbitohs and all Roosters, let's go, anything can happen in the second half, exactly, man, maybe the buddies come back, you know, this kind of rivalry, you don't want to talk too much out of your mouth, but, um, well, Unless something majorly changes for the bunnies in the second half, I think it's roosters. It's it's roosters to lose. Okay, that's that's what this game is, and that's not even a like you can't argue it. It's roosters game to lose. Um, bunnies, it's theirs to improve upon and come back in the second half. Be back in a few. Gone and watch Raiders where it was highlights and drown it. Oh, good Viking axe. Enjoy it, mate. Enjoy the highlights. Enjoy legend. Enjoy. 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 Para not trash. Uh, did somebody say para trash, man? Ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about if they're calling para matter trash. All right, mate. They ain't trash. I know that's an NBA. It's, don't you worry, bro. I, I'm with you all the way. They're not trash. <sighs> mate, we're already like. Let's face it, as a game, the first game was better, but I don't know, there's something about a rivalry that just always makes you enjoy it more, even though it's pretty obvious who should win this one. Second half will definitely be a decider in it all, but, ugh. Mate, that Sean Kepi, that Sean Kepi era was just, ugh. That Sean Kepier had the uh, chance. They had the chance and they just mucked it up completely. Real letdown, to be honest, from them. I expected much better than what I saw, Legends. Roosters can't lose this. They can't lose it, Will. They just can't. They just can't. Just can't, mate. If the Roosters lost this, it would be the choke, bro. It would be the chokesters. Oh. Man, I love streaming. <laughs> Don't know if it always looks it, but I do love it. I do love doing it. I just clear. I, I think that, you know, the first few rounds is really going to be getting more into it because, like, you know, I haven't done it for ages. I think I'm just kind of hyping myself back into the whole live stream reacting thing. Um, enjoying it, though. Thousand percent. Sorry, I'm bored. Oh, good man, Jacob G. It's, a free it's bored, isn't it? It's boring. It's boring this game. Mate, come on, for a rivalry, we expect so much more than what we're getting at this point in time. Come on, guys. You know what? If they won't make the interest, the game interesting, we'll make our own thing interesting. Come on, Legends. Come on, let's make it more interesting ourselves. Come on, as a fan base, the Legends will make it more interesting than they ever could have made it. Come on, we are the Legends, the best you've ever seen. The red, blue, and gold is the, the um, Western Sydney Channel. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I have to think of something on the spot. Western Sydney, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Western Sydney, yeah, Western Sydney. Technically, Western Sydney Channel, right? Because, yeah. But um, I mean, it turns into Queensland Channel come Origin. <laughs> Oh, mate, if I had to shout out anyone from that first half, we've got to shout out Dominic Young, guys. Dominic Young, wing for Roosters, un freaking believable, mate. So good for Knights last season, and even better for the Roosters this one. Just another level. The utter beauty of it all. Oh, the horror, oh, the pain, oh, the beauty. The pain of it all. The pain of being so good. The pain of being so good. Michael Jennings just chilling there being like, yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Mate, Jen Jennings the glorified cheerleader right now for them. Not going to get a shot, I don't think, with the way the Roosters are playing, unless somebody does a heavy shot in the second half. 
Somebody, come on. Will it be you? Will it be you? Will it be Talos Duncan? Will it be Latrell? You know what? It probably will be Latrell. Or will it be Alex Johnson? Who will it be? Tom Burgess, come on. I know you want to give us a heavy hit in that next gap. In the next half of footy. Jason Demetrio laying the law down. Firm talking to on the South Sydney Rabbitohs. You can hear them. You can see it in their faces. They know what's ahead of them. The, the tough fight they've got to do it in the second half. They, they look puffed right now. South Sydney guys looking puffed. Dean Hawkins is look, is left red-faced. I, I don't know if Dean Hawkins is very happy with himself so far in the first uh, 40 minutes. Dean Hawkins still got the second bit to do it. Jack White and listening, listening intently, man. I think he's still got a bit of, got a bit of excitement about the move. Roosters, Rabbitohs, nil in terms of last few. I swear I've seen some of these fans that are in the crowd for Alliance before. Obviously, earlier in the game, they were, they're just reminding us now. Rocket Roger went over to win it for the Raiders, 18-10. to 10. Brilliant move that was. The Warriors, guys, they got a bit of a scare from the Raiders. Raiders led at one point in the game, but in the end, the Wires proved too good. And even if the Rabbitohs come back in this one, I do think that the Roosters will prove too good right now. To blow an 18-point lead would just be a joke on the Roosters' part, knowing how they are. I mean, they're better than that. They're so much better than that. Roosters up the Chooks is at 71%. Rabbitohs up the Bunnies is at 23%. Not many given the Bunnies a hope. And it's proven to be correct at this point. I love how they are advertising Paramanly non-stop for Sunday. To be fair, it is a rivalry that both that both teams should take somewhat seriously. It may have fizzed out a little compared to the 80s and 90s, but it's still one where some fans like us take it seriously. You'd rather get the wooden spoon than lose to Manly, eh? Wow. <laughs> Eels will have a tough time against Eagles on Sunday, champ. Mate, 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 mate. You know, that's what I love, though, you know? Well, yes, we're 20 cent favourites now. I still think that the amount of people tipping Manly, you know, that means nobody's expecting us to win. The pressure's off, mate. The pressure's off, exactly. Mate, nobody expected us to beat Pampers like four in a row, and we did that. We did that. If we can beat Pampers four in a row, we can beat a Manly side. Also, guys, Brooks and Cherry, yes, they're a brilliant half Perry, and I will always praise Brooks, but it's been two rounds, guys. They've started well as a Harbs pairing. To compare to them and call them the, be the best Harbs is just silly to me, you know. To say they're better than Dylan Brown and Mitchell Moses after two rounds is just like lunacy, lunacy to me. To me, the Harbs pairing, if anything, on form compared to actual ability is very close. Plus, you got to remember, Manly... Manly didn't run away with that game versus Roosters at first. You got... If they were playing Panthers, I don't know if Manly won that game. Now, Para versus Panthers. Para stuck it to Panthers. Tell me now, is Manly going to stick it to Panthers? Give it a go against them? Especially if they get poor decisions? I don't think so. I'm backing my boys to have a better have a better game on... I'm actually backing my boys to have a better game on Sunday than they did when they lost to Panthers. Yeah, I'm backing it. You know, seriously. It's like, you know, I genuinely think we have a much better chance versus Manly than we did versus Panthers. Yeah. My, yes, my... Yeah, that's my nut. TJC, bro. TJC. We are the legends. The T We are the legends. The TJC fans. The, the, nuff the nuffies who play the sport always risk themselves. For entertainment, we are the legends. Da, 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 da. Pinned message. <laughs> I'm pinning... <laughs> There you go, mate. Mate, Chooks are, are are off tap, bro. We're crazy. I know, right? They're off the tap, bro. They're going insane at this moment. It's just all them. All, 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 all them. Insanity. Yes, mate. TJC is my mind. You know this. You know this. You know this, bro. You know this. You know that that's my name. You know this legend. We've said it many times on the channel. 
Panthers versus um, Eels at Combank in August, I think. Well, either way, I will be there. And I do know that it's the week after I will have travelled to New Zealand for Warriors versus Paros. So I've got my work cut out for me over a couple of weeks when that comes about, don't I? I've got to deal with Pampas fans the week after going to New Zealand. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be so tired. But it's worth it in the end to show your support for your club. Worth it in the end. Worth it to show all I got. Woohoo. 60 Minutes Channel 9. Mate, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to watch. Pa I just want to watch. My is alright. I don't care about the world. I don't care. Convank has beca become like Suncorp for New South Wales. How good is it? Bro, it's incredible. It's incredible, Suncorp. I mean, not Suncorp. I've never been to Suncorp one day, um, but never been there. Um, Combank is a great stadium, bro, and I'm privileged to be for it to be my home stadium. Um, you know, there's plenty of all right stadiums in New South Wales. I need to test out some of the Queensland ones in the future when that's more feasible, but um, still. 35 votes so far on the poll. Is it just me, or does it feel like we should be getting on with the second half very, very soon? Uh, please do something a little more, Bunnies. And also, Latrell, can you defend better, bro? Because, like, you're great. You're great when you're doing the right thing. But, like, Trell, Trell, there's, like, 10 points you could have stopped, man. It's the harsh truth. Hopefully, you can improve in the second half. Thanks, I was bored. No problem, Jacob G, man. No problem. We cu single handedly curing the boredom. Brad Fittler. Brad Fittler high five the fans of the Chookies. Combank, mate, Combank, I recommend going, you know. Then again, people also recommend me going to Suncorp one day, man. One day. Won't make magic round this year, but one day I'll go to Suncorp. In the future. I'll go to the future. Back to the future, legends. Anyways, here we go. We're waiting on the second half to come out. Here come the Roosters. The best we've ever seen. What a game from the red, white, and blue Stars. They're the Eastern Suburbs team. Boom. Can they have a better second half than the first? Nobody knows. We'll find out together through the highs and the lows. Roosters bunnies. The Roosters are here to stay. Chookies all the way. <laughs> All right, legends, let's update this second half. Here we go. Roosters and Bunnies, both rivals are on the field now. Is the comeback on? Or will the Roosters continue their dominance? We find out in just a moment. Here we go. Kick off, guys. Roosters, Bunnies. Roosters down the right flank. Sean Kepi holding him down. Sean Kepi keeping him out. Now, Damian Cook. For the second tackle of the half. Kolomatangi then. Moving forward. Kolomatangi looking for an offload. And he knocks it on. Kolomatangi, mate. Mate, bunnies. This is just painful to watch from you. This is just painful to watch from you, bruh. What am I? What am I watching from you? What the heck, guys? Ugh. You gotta have passion to keep up this kind of viewing because you know what? Like, if I didn't have any passion, I would have gone, oh, this is boring and left. Nah, nah. I'm back in something more to happen. It's really boring for a Roosters Bunnies game. The Roosters just dominating. You know what I mean? Bunnies, ugh. I just hate 13 pluses in rivalries. Rivalries, it's terrible. Hey, mind the language for my audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget, don't ya? <laughs> the score should say the, ch the say the ch chooks and bunnies. The score says what it says, legend. The s the score says what it says. Connor Watson, over, gets it back. Now May passes forward. Sandon Smith kicks. Joseph Manu's gonna go over, and right at the start of the second half. The rugby bound player, Joseph Manu, hops over like a fresh new baby jolly. The white line could not stop him. 
the eighth and sub of Spirit within him, Joey Manu, ladies and gentlemen, putting it on a platter. Russell Crowe would be filthy right now. Absolutely, he would be, Lily. Russell Crowe would be filthy at this point. The background guy should say sorry. He should, ma'am. He should say... He should, bro. He should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Roosters, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 20? 22, is it? It's, is it 22? Mate. Yeah, 22 points to nil. South. Like, you know what? I I like to be positive about South because of how much I respect them. But I think that, you know, when you're not a, they're part of their regular supporters, um, you've got to be honest about some of this stuff. And to be straight up with you, Bunnies have not been good enough this game, and I think even South fans would admit this. You know, as much as, um, you know, you want to be positive about about any rugby league side, they just have not been on today. And it's a real letdown because it's South's Roosters, and it, it definitely means something to some of those players and would mean something to at least majority of the squad, but this is not... This was the game where they were to earn the shirt, the Bunnies. Hey, I know that guy with that side. Hey, it's Hainsey! Roosters! <laughs> the Chuckies, I'm sure he's over the moon about this scoreline. 20 to nil. 35 votes on the poll. Looks like the 71% of you that have gone with the Chuckies to get it over the line. We should have gone 13 plus Chooks. Should have gone 13 plus Chooks with that. 22 nil. I wouldn't be shocked if some of them, like, I know Mr. Potter, he's got a long, long thing, a, a long, long, long trip home. So I wouldn't be shocked if Zane Potter was leaving at the 20 minutes left mark, knowing how he is to get home. Now Tupo passes to the right here. Held down now. Dom Young got the most metres today with 119. Surprisingly, Tedesco's pretty close with 115, but Dom Young, mate, he's been so easy on the eyes with that game, hasn't he? Brilliance from him. Now we've got Connor Watson. Connor Watson puts his arm out there and gets held down. Yes, it's 20. Yes, let's go, Legends, continuing forward here. Now Damian Cook holding him back. Connor Watson. Watson. Watson with a spin. Yeah, I got a little confused for a second because KO didn't upload updated scoreboard either till after the ad break, so it didn't update for me. Now the bunnies collect again. Dummy pass, running forward. Uh, I just haven't been 100%, I just haven't been hundred percent with this one. Like, you know, I'll get hyped when there's a reason to be hyped. Right now, the only people that should be hyped are Roosters supporters with this game so far. Sorry, but New Zealand's a beautiful country. I know it's a beautiful country, uh, Fekitoa, and I'm looking forward to um, going there. I mean, I've got family over there, so it's going to be a fun time. I've been there before when I was in, like, primary school, I think, or something. So, you know, been a while, but, yeah, when I was 10, I was in primary school. See, I was right. See? <laughs> See? So, yeah, legends, you know, I'm excited to see how it changed. You know, it's been eight years. It's been eight years, so, yeah. Now Dom Young here, guys. Spinning around. Sam Walker goes up to the left where Tupo is in support. Come on, mate. I, I struggle to think about it when I remember that Daniel Tupo could have been a para player. Oh. We could have Daniel Tupo right now. He could be our all-time try scorer. Oh. Ha, <laughs> ha, could be ours. Now the Roosters. Charging. Joseph Manu scored. Yes, he did. Joey Manu did go over earlier. You little beauty, says Jason, mate. You little beauty, bro. Little beauty. This game. Ah. Oh. Roosters fans. Are you happy? Jeez, mate. Jeez. So long ago, right, Jacob G? So long ago. A lifetime. Time flies. 
Time flies in life. Ten, yep. Yeah, and I also eight years, and it was also uh, it would have been five to six years before I would properly do my channel. So yeah, crazy time how time goes like that, right? Oh, Trell with the hit. Trell getting smashed by May there. Now Tass. Honestly, I'm going to be honest, Latrell looks so done right now with this. <laughs> he looks so done with this result. Sam Walker now rolling on the ground. Didums, Didums. Skinny legs got hit. Mate, Latrell got hit way more. Latrell's good. Let's see. Bro, skinny, skinny legs went for the tackle and hurt himself in it. Nothing wrong from the bunny. Huh? It's just tough luck. Just tough luck there from him. It happens in the game, you know, unfortunately. Jackie Boy t took him on. Jackie Boy causing Sam Walker some issue. Sam Walker, obviously, a big part of this lead with Dom Young. Both of them probably the most crucial factors so far in it. In it. Noise as a Storm fan. Crazy, right? Crazy. Crazy how time flies like it. Live and exclusive. We got the 24 nil. Here's my question. Do we see 30? Do we see 30, Legends? Do we see 30? 30 points. Could the Roosters get 30 in this game? Halfway through the set for the Bunnies, though. Mate. I know I probably could have said this a couple set, a couple tries ago, but Bunnies, you have to score next. You have to score next, Bunnies. Come on, you got to do better. This is interesting. It's a very interesting game, as always, mate. Rivalries are always interesting, but, like, this game just hasn't gotten me on the edge of my seat like so many other games, you know, that I've seen in the past. Um... I've, even Roosters Buddies Online, I've seen much more fun and interesting, crazy games than this one. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now Cookie goes back to Tom Burgess. Tom Burgess now over to the left here. Tommy Burgess, no doubt the Burgess brothers will forever be remembered at South Sydney once Tom leaves at the end of this year to go to England. Tass! Isaiah Tass now. James Tedesco going and tackling him. Now the Bunnies kicking into a gap, a space, but Tedesco reads it way too well and catches the ball. I want to see 50, says Jason Reader. Well, 50 might be a bit of a push, but look, it's not impossible if Bunnies completely switch off, man. I just don't think they'll completely switch off. I think that the Roosters are just too good. I don't know if the Bunnies are even really switching off that much. Dom Young. Like, Dom Young's come to play. Like, seriously. Dom Young, have you always been a Roosters fan? This is crazy. And isn't it even funnier when you realise Dom Young could have been a bunny, but they opted not to go down the path of signing him, and he ended up at Roosters because of that. And now he's scored against them. <laughs> and probably been one of the better players versus them. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Now Sandon Smith kicking it. Come on, can Brandon Smith and Sandon Smith just link up already? It feels like they they were born to born as knockoff versions of each other, doesn't it? Sandon Smith, Brandon Smith. I thought Tom Tom will join his brother at the Y. The Y he will bro maybe eventually maybe eventually as a Storm fan. I reckon he probably will, mate. Tom Tom mate Tom's leaving. Um, Tom's definitely he's leaving South after this one off to England. Let's see. We won't be watching him, but like hopefully he does well when he leaves. You know he's clearly at the last year years of his career doing it. Cody Walker to Tom Burgess, arm out Burgess bending them all out, offloads backwards now. South Sydney here, South Sydney now Cookie held down. Elias to Cody Walker, Cody Walker kicks low. And it ends up with Tom Burgess. Will Burgess go for a kick, potentially? No! It was off the Roosters. It's going to be six again here. He will join the Giants. Good for him, man. He'll join the Giants, bro. Now charging forward. Held down. Sean Cappy, bro, you're kidding me. 
Ugh. I'll be watching him. I watch Super League. Yeah, you'll be watching him. I won't be, bro. Yeah, he's going to England for Super League, man. He's going to England for Super League. Exactly. Best of luck to him. I hope he has a good good time over there. You know, hopefully his career goes well. I won't be watching probably because I don't watch much Super League. But yeah, good luck to him. Tom Burgess now. He gets down the middle. Speak of the devil. Speak of the dang little de devil. Walker. Oh, Jacob Host. And finally, the bunnies have a try. Jacob Host, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> the bunnies finally have won in this one. 20 to 4. It's only a 20 point difference now. <laughs> Nobody care about AFL, bruh. Nobody here. Nobody here, I'll tell you that much. Nobody here really care that much. 24 4. <laughs> South Sydney Rabbitohs. What a pass and what a line break. Jacob Host, guys. Uh, why did I get a feeling Hosty would be the one? Hosty with the hosting duties. Averaged eight runs for 78 metres in 2023. Now he's got himself a try. How much time is there, bro? Six, six, we still got half an hour. We still got half an hour. I know, legends. I know, we still got half an hour. Yeah, if the... No, don't sing. Don't sing. Because no one you will never get you to shush after. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, half an hour, mate. You're kidding. I didn't even realize how much time was still left until you, you, you asked me to check. Uh, mate, NRL way better, bro. Challenge. Name one team from the AFL. Richmond Tigers. <laughs> I can name teams from the AFL. You know? I just don't care for it. And I probably can only name them because I... Victoria, right? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm damn Victorian, but yeah. Breaking news, legends. Oh, massive news in this game. The halfback for the Roosters, Sam Walker, has been ruled out with a Category 1 head injury. Wow. Massive. That is huge. Category 1 as well. He's going to be gone. He's definitely, he won't be playing next week. That means under the protocol, right? Because it's head. Yeah. Potential concussion, 11 days. He won't be playing next week, Sammy Walker, which means he will miss the game versus Pampers. Oh, that's just what Roosters needed. Challenge. West Tigers are better than the Richmond Tigers. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. There's also Essendon, right? Essendon. 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 Yeah. Essendon. <laughs> Essendon? Essendon. Yeah. Essendon. Yeah, well, that's what I said. That's what I said. Essendon. 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 There's them. The Sydney Swans, mate. Swans, whatever. <laughs> okay, Tedesco. Kicks low here. Dom Young. And it goes out of play here. Oh, my goodness, mate. My dearie, dearie goodness, mate. Category 1. How much brain do Category 1, how much brain does he have to hurt? Oh. Clearly a lot. Clearly a lot with that one. I don't know. I don't see Category 1 thrown around often. But it's funny, because, like, for Category 1, he was conscious. You know what I mean? Like, he, he seemed okay. But, yeah, it seems like he's gone. He's gone for today. So, can the Rabbitohs take advantage of them missing their main halfback? Well, we'll see. But, you know, I think that they've definitely got the players to shift around to fix it. Essendon. Yeah, it's Essendon. It's Essendon. What? I don't get you. I'm saying the same thing. <laughs> I don't get it. 
But I get it. Sheesh. The Rooster Spine, but who would have doubted Amazing Talent? I know, right? Young really co is complimenting the Rooster Spine, and nobody should have doubted his talent. Everybody going, oh, Spencer, then you're going to be the best, uh, the best sighting for the Roosters. Nah, mate. I was always saying, it is going to be a Mr. I missed that Mr. Dom Young. I always had a feeling Dom Young would be a better signing long term than Spencer and you. And you know what? It's kind of turned out that way. I mean, Spencer literally got suspended for eight weeks and he didn't even really play much. Now Tom Burgess. Burgess, Sturgis, Burgess gets them over halfway here. The Roosters doing fine, holding them back. The Bunnies are looking to break through here. Dom Young! Outdone by Alex Johnston! Who kicks the ball and it ends up in the hands of the Sydney Roosters, mate. If I'm Johnston, I'm just trying to run with it and find an offload. I understand he, what I understand what he was thinking, but it's just one of those things where it if it works, it looks brilliant, and when it doesn't, it looks a little let down. What's going on? No clue, man. No clue. Category 1, how much brain, how much brain, bro. Now, South Sydney Rabbitohs holding the Roosters back here. Holding the Roosters back to their own, to each their own. Keep them down. Vamos. I want to watch you out on the tip there. I thought you said Dom Young's away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mate, I was ready to say Dom Young's away for a second, but now nah, Alex Johnson's who did it, bro. Alex Johnston, bro, he did his effort. Latrell Mitchell. Mate, for a fullback, Latrell, you I need to be saying Latrell more. I wanna be saying Latrell more. Where 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 are you, bro? Oh. Now oh, down the middle. Starting of the year is definitely Zach Husky Husky Hosking. Well, Zach Hosking has so far been the best forward signing. Um, you know, I think that um, there's a few arguments. Dom Young's been a great signing, but I don't think he's been as good as Zach Hosking. Um, we'll have to wait and see with Zach Hosking whether he turns out to be amazing. He didn't have his best game versus the Warriors, but of course he was also benched. So let's see if Ricky will regret that and do something different next week. Oh! Bashed! And then a kick of frustration from Buddies. It ends up with Tass. And now the Roosters collect Tedesco running. There's there's confusion all around, but it will be Roosters ball, according to the referee. The referee kept it together and managed to make a decision. And I'm thinking from what I saw that it was the correct decision in this game. Now, now holding them off, Sydney Roosters, guys. They're, it may be 6-24, to 24, but like... You know, like, yes, Rabbitohs have six, six points, but do those six points really make much of a difference right now? <laughs> they need three more converted tries in about 20 minutes. Ooh, dearing me, Legends. And the Roosters get a penalty. High tackle there. High tackle. James Teddy Tedesco, mate. Clearly too short for the big props of the Bunnies. I will be astonished with the way the Roosters are playing if they don't score here. Bunny's coach going to feel like he, he's a pressure cooker after this game. He's going to feel it, man. He's going to feel like he's a big pressure after this game. Lindsay Collins, Brandon Smith to Radley. Victor Radley now. Victor Radley held down. Radley down. Radley down. Now Brandon Smith dummies. Smith. Radley going to take control now of controlling the ruck. And no, he will not because Brandon Smith has messed it up. Brandon Smith will turn over possession to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. It's pointed at his eye to the other teammates being like, nah, mate. Clearly had an issue. Money's coach going to feel feel like he's, he's a pressure cooker after, this, cooker after this game. Mate, he is the pressure cooker after this game. If Stamps continue down this trajectory, they've got to get rid of, you know, with the players they've got. I've heard a lot of talk. I've heard from some people that I don't know how negative it is that Demetrio just doesn't click with some of the players. But um, 
you know, I don't know how to feel right now because I also think Souths, you know, there's moments where they could simply be trying a little harder in their position. And that goes for the majority of the players. I'm not singling out anyone with that statement. Murray. To call him a tonguey. Because, you know, if I if I tried to rebuild Souths, I could change about four or five positions, but I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't be able to do that without feeling like... You know, like, majority of their players I would keep because I think majority of them are right there. I just don't think it's the right kind of positioning. Brandon Smith takes the ball and runs with it. Are you sure that was a one-on-one -on -one strip? The ref, Clyde, thinks it was. I'm not so certain about that one. But here we go. And it's also six again for Roosters because, of course, South Sydney cannot catch a break. Lindsay Collins now. How good is he when he plays for Queensland? Pushes them away. Brandon Smith, it seems like the trainer's actually come on to look at his eye. Seems like he may have had a bit of an issue there for himself. Not what he wanted to see or hear, guys. Now, Sydney Roosters, Tedesco. Oh, why would you let a gap like that open up for Teddy? He's going. And Murray, the last line of defence. Brandon Smith to Angus Crichton. Crichton, a former Rabbitoh there. Brandon Smith. Brandon. To, to Terrell May, Radley, to Sandon, Sandon, to Dom Young, Dominic Young for the line, and he's held down right on the hour mark, fifth tackle here coming up, the Roosters one last chance in this, low grubber kick, Sandon Smith, Connor Watson, the Roosters, it's going to be 30 in a second, 28-0, Connor Watson, oh, Brilliant. Brilliant. No, wait. Was it Watson? No, yeah, I think it was. It was Connor Watson, Legends. I thought it was Nat Butcher, possibly, for a second. Nat, Connor Watson. Waltz is on for Rue. Brilliant. After a very interesting decision from the referee, the Roosters will go up to 28 Now, Very poor organization, but it is a try. Connor Watson, there is no way Watson planned the way he was going to land. He got very lucky there. He just flops on the ground after collecting. He had no idea where the line was. He's just lucky. His boots even stick it out as far as it can to touch the line, potentially. Close, man, but he gets it. That's a try, in my opinion. As long as he's behind the kick chaser. Yeah, beautiful. Connor Watson, the former Knight, and it feels like the former Newcastle Knights are putting it on a platter. The Chookies guys outdoing the Buddies. The Buddies can hop along at this point. First game for Rooster since the qualifying final in 2022. Connor Watson, remember, legend, he had a season-ending injury in preseason last year. So the, to finally get a try and it, to be against the Roosters' biggest rivals, massive, massive props to him. Right in front, the fans go wild. Insane they go. Demetrio, mate, he's screaming at his microphone. He's screaming at his microphone. He's not happy with what he's seen so far. Oh, oh the, the side's off. The side's off the front of his laptop. It's just the laptop now. The side's off. <laughs> Now, Joseph Suwali. This could be his last year at the Roosters. But that's far from his last kick. Brilliant. 30 to 6. And suddenly, Jacob Host's try will amount to nothing for the Rabbitohs at this point. And I think we know who the winner is today. As much as South fans don't want to admit it, the Roosters. Simply the best. RTS scored on return, and Watson now scored on return. Yeah, bro, RTS, then Watson. It's the try day of returns, bro. It's the try day of returns. As Jason, as Jason Reader will say, you little beauty. As he would say, Jacob J, you little beauty. You little beauty. Terrell May forward now. 30 to 6, we're calling it now. About uh, not a, uh, 58 minutes ish to go in this gap. Not 58 ish minutes, far out. I've got it the wrong way round, legends. <laughs> what? 22 minutes. 22 minutes. No, not 20. Yeah, 22. About tw 22. Yeah, yeah, it's 22 minutes about. I know. 
No, I was mixing up the two numbers, the one I was minusing and the one I was equaling. Can we see a 40 bomb? Bro, a 40 bomb is very possible. I don't know about 50 yet. We're not at that stage of the season, but 40? It's possible. Brandon Smith kicks on fourth tackle early, and Latrell reads it well. Latrell Mitchell now. Funnily enough, all of the Roosters tackling him there, not one of them played for him when he played with him when he was a Rooster in 2019 and 2018. Not one of them. The only player actually, Luke Keery Tedesco? Rat? There's, there's a couple, but there are actually quite a few players that never played with him that are in this Rooster side. And, oh, look at that. Oh, Brandon Smith, cut head. That doesn't look great. Probably got to go off for... For me, when their head's bleeding like that, surely you got to step in and be like, uh, head assessment, right? Like, I don't like the picking and choosing of head as assessments and injuries. I think that that should be assessed uh, for his own safety. Okay, uh, I love it. I love how Latrell get a boot, mate. Of course Latrell's get a boot, bro. Roosters don't like him. You know, and he doesn't like Roosters either, despite winning two premierships with them, so. Can you class Nathan Cleary in the same echelon as Cooper Crog, Andrew Johns, and Brad Fittler? Not right now, because he hasn't done it for as long. But Nathan Cleary, absolutely, if we're talking about his ability when he did play, yeah. Um, you know, to put Cleary overall, though, in career-wise, at that point, you've got to wait till the end of his career if he keeps up the way he's going. If he keeps it up, then 100% he deserves all of the respect and marbles in the world. Nathan Cleary put on one of the best grand final performances for 20 minutes we'd ever seen, okay, last year. So don't put it past him to be in that same kind of area by the end of his career. In fact, I think he could be higher than that by the end of his career, to be honest, if he keeps going the way he's going. He's part of the team that's arguably the best of the modern... It is the best of the modern era. Which we, we got to wait and see. Well, a team that was... They certainly were for the free people. We'll wait and see how they do. Wait, does that make Para the best? Because we beat them? Four times. Parramatta was the best for four games in a row. We were four games in a row the best. Around. Now the Roosters guys getting the ball back. Angus Crichton getting whipped there. Mate, does anybody remember when Angus Crichton was super good? Because, like, I, I it's been like a year. It's been like a year or two, Angus. Like, what happened to 2020, Angus? What happened to you? Oh, Tupo's away. Tupo with the kick now for Tedesco. And Latrell Mitchell takes him out. Has Latrell Mitchell taken out James Tedesco? <laughs> Latrell and Teddy having a good laugh about it after. No hard feelings between Teddy and Trowell, clearly. Right, so onside, yeah, okay, let's just wait on the kick. Let's wait on the kick itself. Yeah, man, Angus Crichton slowed a fair bit. I remember when he was so good for the Roosters in their starting pack. I just, he was one of their best players. He was a player anybody in the NRL would have taken. He's just not the same anymore, is he? He's just not the same anymore. And I don't get it, you know, like, I understand he's had his things off the field, but still... Mate, it was so much blood from Brandon Smith, wasn't it, RC Bronco, before? But um, they mopped it up, and he's good now. <laughs> the life of a rugby league player. you could It looks like a fatal injury, but then they do a couple pats, and they're fine. I'm looking at this here from... Trell's got his arm out against Tedesco's neck. That's the thing. And then Trell falls over, steps on his stomach, and his knee falls on Teddy's face. Now, I understand it was accidental, likely, and it was probably pure reflex, but I wouldn't be shocked if the bunker made... You reckon? Yeah. It doesn't look good, does it? No. It was accidental, though. We weren't getting... we weren't getting... Yeah, yeah, it was accidental, but he definitely needed to be more careful. 
and he could have hurt Teddy. Yeah. He could have hurt Teddy. Steps on his stomach, knee to head, pushes his neck on the way, you know? Not... Like, Teddy and T Teddy and Luttrell were laughing about it. Clearly, he doesn't take it too serious. He's not that hurt. But, like, yeah. you gotta be on, you know? Yeah, no try, but Trell's gotta be talked to about this. Yep. Yeah. Is he really at... Yep, yeah, 10 in the bin. He had to go to the bin for that. Yeah, but there's nothing... There's, um, that's not nothing against Trail. That's just, that had to be done. Had to be done. In the bin he goes, and he'll return for the final five minutes of this game. Oh, man, that was... I genuinely think Trail needs to be playing centre. I'm going to be honest. You know, that's my opinion. I just don't think he's done fullback well the first four rounds. And it's not to lack his ability. He shows sparks. But I just don't think he's as picture perfect with his decision making at times as a fullback tends to be. When you compare like Guffo and that. Okay, yeah. Now, Terrell May. Terrell, yay, Terrell in the bin. Yep, guys, Latrell Mitchell, 10 in the bin. Now, Victor Radley. To Sandon Smith. Gets it over. Joseph Manu. Joseph Manu. Hands the ball to a kid. <laughs> there you have it, legends. There you have it. Joseph Manu handing the win. 34 now. And Trell in the bin is making the difference tonight. 34 to 6. Always had a feeling with the Roosters. It's just being proven here. Oh. Bro, you're kidding me. Okay, just looking around. Oh. I'm looking, 37 votes. We're going well, Legends. We're at the ad break right now in my stream. Um, two tries, 62 career tries. Joey Manu, he's in for a big year, hopefully. Yes, this is his last year as a restart. We're like 99% sure, aren't we? 99.9% .9 sure. But that is one way he can see it off, guys. <laughs> uh, the, the classic, bro. 13 plus, and it's a big 13 plus. It ain't just 13 plus. It's a massive one. They're getting the job done. They're getting it covered. Jared Maria Hargreaves yet to do as much, but he won't complain. The victory for him, they're getting it gone. This isn't the best, best game you could play if you were Jackie Boy, right, Legends? Not the best game. Joseph Suwali looks up at the goal. He kicks it. And he scores it. 34 to 6. Becomes 36 to 6. A 30 point difference. And if this doesn't hit 40, I will be amazed with how this game's going. All good, Jacob. Gee, how do you think I feel? I'm buggered, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready to call it a night soon once this game's over. I'm bugging, man. Having to stream it? Ugh. Crazy stuff right now. Oh, it just had to be. Had to be. You know, like, it doesn't matter what you think about the, um, about that whole trail getting spit bend, he had to. He had to go to the. He had to go to the bin, all right. And while yes, it's impacted and messed up the game a little for the bunnies. He did all those things, and while yes, I think they were accidental. He had to go to the bin, Dean Hawkins. Joseph Swelly, 18 out of 18 at Allianz, mate. He refuses. He does not miss at Allianz. He does not miss. He does not miss. Cheekham should have passed over to Tom Burgess. Now Cook gets it to Walker. 
Walker now. Cody Walker gets into Jacob Hoster. Did he knock that on into the Sydney Rooster? No, the ref says it's fine. You just about managed to catch it, man. Then Murray. And it's six again for South now. Dean Hawkins bends off one, tries to fend off two, but gets tackled way too well there by the Roosters. Joseph Suwalibre refuses to miss, and he will not miss if they score again. Buddies, you're right on the 10 meter line. You gotta get something rolling here. You gotta get something rolling. Tarnilled! Going over, Legends! And the South Sydney Rabbitohs should have scored forward. What? Wee! No try, Legends. I reckon it was forward. Yeah, Cody Walker forward. Ah. Oh. Unlucky, because that would have been a ripper of a try. Tardmield will not have it. South Sydney? Nah. Sydney Roosters? Yes. 36-6, you know, like, yes, Broncos and Pampers was one-sided like this, but, like, at least I really liked, at least I kind of enjoyed how the Pampers were playing, you know. The Roosters ain't my favourite right now. Joseph Suwali. Joseph Suwali down the middle here, going alone. 11 minutes to go, Legends. That's six minutes till we have Trell back on the field. Dom Young, adapting beautifully to life at the Sydney Roosters to begin his career there. Jared Rhea Hargreaves. Hargreaves, bro, he refuses to give up without a fight, doesn't he? Jared, mate. Jared on the 300. Jared. Jared. They will have big games home, Rabbitohs, next week. If the buddies don't win next week, oh, if the buddies don't win next week, panic alert, panic alert, panic alert, and yes, don't need to comment it, Legends, I'm aware that it glitched for a second there, but we're fine now, okay, I lost connection for a second, but now we're back and firing, we're rolling, we're rocking, and we're going at it finally, aren't we, we're enjoying ourselves, Legends, enjoying ourselves to the best of our abilities. Who do the Rabbitohs have next week? Doggies, right? If they don't beat the Doggies, oh, I don't know what to think about bunnies. Okay, this year, Legends. If they don't beat the Doggies, the South Sydney Rabbitohs are here. Oh, I know it's early, but just like such a poor start could be... Oh. Could you imagine if South were the unexpected Spooners? <laughs> it won't happen. It won't happen, but wouldn't it be funny if Souths went, like, I mean, like, as much as I like Souths, wouldn't it be funny if they got it? Okay, guys, now Damien Cook. Looking both ways, Cookie. Cookie down the right. Da Damien Cookie gets it to Savili. Havili. Havili now, Cook. To Hawkins. Hawkins to Kolobatuggy. Keon Kolobatuggy now. Keon Kolobatagi, go on, man. Go on, Kolobatagi. Held down. Cookie, back to the left. What a blast there. What a kick. And it ends up in the hands of Daniel Tupo. Daniel Tupo now to Connor Watson. Connor Watson. Joseph Manu. Manu looking to pass it off, but he couldn't find it in the end. Three and a half minutes till Trell's back as we are passed into the final nine minutes of this game. Imagine Pampers getting getting the spoon. They won't get it, though. Oh, nah. Nah, they won't get it, Legend. But it would be great if they got it. <laughs> they won't, though. Could you I mean, Watch their fan base dry up if they got the spoon. Watch it. Watch it dry up. They would they would disappear, bro. Dom Young! What a pass! And what a kick! James Tedesco is going to score! James Tedesco! It wouldn't be a 13-plus victory for the Chooks! If the teddy bear didn't go over. 40 to 6. Tedesco. James Tedesco. James Tedesco. James Tedesco. 40 to 6. Oh, this game. It won't be 50, most likely, but this has got to be worrying sides for the South City Rabbitohs. They didn't even look like challenging the Roosters today. They were meant to shock us all, and in the end, this is what we had to witness. Dom Young, legends. What a kick, mate. Dominic Young is the winger of the round so far. Fight me. Fight me on this. 
Fight Me Legends, Dominic Young, winger of the round. The round. Round. Fight me on it. Put him up. Put him up. Uh, five-time winner of Jack Gibson. The five-time winner of the Jack Gibson medal as Roosters player of the year, James Tedesco. Will it be 42 to 6? Uh, this is one of the worst losses in a while for Rabbitohs in the Roosters Buddies rivalry. If this game was much closer, I think we'd be having a much different time. I always had a feeling Warriors and Raiders might be the better game, even though Roosters Rabbitohs is the rivalry. But yeah. And Taruba, surely. Oh, Taruba too, man. Taruba too, but don't tell me Dom Young hasn't been the best overall, you know? Taruba and Dom Young are the best wingers of the round together. But um, do not tell me that... Um, do not tell me that you don't consider... Don't consider it. You don't consider a Mr. Um, Dom Young to be... I, I think he's just been unbelievable. His creation, his attack, his defense, like... Yes, it hasn't been heroic as Taruba, but, like, unbelievable from him. I think Dom Young's been the best so far of any winger. But Taruba's up there, 100%. Uh, Teddy, mate, come on. Yep, and it is 42-6, uh, to 6, by the way, Legends. I will update the scoreline there as the play kicks off again here. Uh, one minute. One minute until the troll is back, Legends. One minute. One minute, one minute till it's done. One minute till we're finished off with this one. Oh, hey, okay, okay, I'm Rodney, Jared, Rodney, yeah, Hargreaves. Hargreaves, Jared, Jared, Jared held. Now Brandon Smith decided to run down the middle. Radley, James Tedesco, James Teddy Bear Tedesco stopped backwards here. We're going a bit, we're going backwards, speaking of which, it feels like South City Rabbit has been going a bit backwards this game. Been backwards galore from them. You gotta do better. Six minutes. You gotta do better. You gotta do better than this. Brandon Smith, Dakota Watson. Anything is better than this. Anything is better than this. Ooh. Wait. Loss of the ball. Knock on. So knock on, sir. Knock on. Knock on, sir. Sir. Come on. Get it off, cookie. Show us, yeah, all right. South City Ball, South City Ball. The Roosters were held, and now the Sunday Roosters must must defend with their lives, lives. Yeah, and now Damien Cook gets to Colour Matagi. Keon Colour Matagi stopped. Now Lucky Ilias, not Lucky Ilias, Cookie, gets it over to Hawkins. Cody Walker, Cody Walker forward. Jackie Boy Whiten held down. Now Havili, and oh, it's a knock on. Sand and Smith now collecting. Here he runs. Now gets it back over to Joseph Suwali. He hits it backwards. Butcher now. That Butcher butchering that defense. What a run. What a sprint. Joseph Swally will kick next week. 100%, mate. He's been brilliant today for the Roosters. Connor Watson, mate. He's got the... Uh, mate, the kick in on Swally is unbelievable at this point in time. He loves it at Allianz, doesn't he? Now, Smith, Tedesco, Dom Young, Dominic Young held down here. We're only halfway through the set. Still three more tackles to go in this one. So, still opportunity to be had. Now, a duck there from Nafua White. Nafua White. <laughs> oh, South Sydney. Uh, Sydney till I die. Sydney, knick-knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. South shit, a and no off. <laughs> oh, to just go! To just go! James Tedesco! 46 to 6. 50 is on the cards. 50 is on the cards. 50 is on the cards. The Roosters, too good. 
It was Brandon Smith to Tedesco, and the defense opened it up for him. Tedesco with the double. Two. Bro, two. Oh, mate, he's getting it. The, the, the Brewsters are putting the buddies 3 and 0. Oh, 0 and 3, mate. They haven't won one yet. They have not won one yet. Oh, 46. 46. You read that right, Legends. You're right. Guys, you read it. 40 points difference. If they score again, it'll be 50. 50. 50 in the NRL's oldest rivalry. 74 for the club, 124 in his career. Obviously, the rest were for the West Tigers legends. Incredible stuff from James Tedesco, mate. What a career he has had. Premierships, tries. Captain C, everything you could imagine he's had at one point. Incredible player that will always be part of the Roosters for as long as he can be allowed to. And they get the kick. Two points, guys. If they just get a penalty, they can make it 50. Oh. I'm speechless. I'm speechless about this. I'm kind of keen to see if they can get 50, to be honest with you. The Roosters, guys. Oh. Souths are going to be this week's news headlines for the next six days, mate. They're going to be in headlines for a while with the way they've started this season. The short kickoff doesn't work. The Roosters collect. He could be away and wait. The ref comes back and says, go back. What's this call? He's going, Legends. He's going. All right, now, nah, Rabideau's penalty, guys, in the air. Okay, South Sydney. I don't know if it'll be 50 unless the Roosters make the Buddies horribly muck it up, but still. Now, Cookie to Havili. Havili held down. Now, South are going to be this week's mate. South Sydney. How much of a letdown? Six again. Keon Kolobatuggy. One and a half minutes to go. Ugh, oh, what a letdown. Roost is just too good. Best game ever if you're a Chucky supporter. Bought it all week. Trowell. Latrell. Latrell Mitchell. Latrell Mitchell on return from the from the Sid bin held down. Now gets it back. Walker to Havili. Havili over backwards. Moali. The Rabbitohs are missing Campbell Graham. They really are legend. They really are missing Campbell Graham. The difference he makes. But I don't think he changes how poor of a result this is for them. All right. Souths. Cookie. Now Cody Walker. And, oh, this has got to be a try for the Rabbitohs. No, they completely misdo that. Alex Johnson, legends. If only he was a little faster. Now host. Luttrell kicks high. And Daniel Tupo collects. Now get to that 20 meter line and sprint like your life depends on it. 30 seconds to go. With their four tonight, they could challenge Penrith. I know, right? They've been crazy today, the Sydney Roosters. But also buddies, mate. They're just not good enough. And oh, the 50 point dream ends as Kolomotogi collects. No, wait. And Suwali collects backwards. And now it ends up with buddies. What the heck? Back and forth. And now. 10 seconds to go in this game. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ding, 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 ding. Full time here at Allianz Stadium. The Sydney Roosters have bested the South Sydney Rabbitohs. January a high group celebrating with all the boys, buddies and roosters. 300 is a win for him. Game 300, baby. And Jackie Boy loses his first match in the South Jumper pretty comfortably. Tough luck, Legends. Better luck next time. Oh, uh, well, that was that was a stream. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Sydney Roosters are the champions of Sydney right now. Or at least compared to the South, they are. Eastern Suburbs, best Redfern.
Anyways, legends, I'll see you for tomorrow's Super Saturday streams. Make sure you check them out. All right, guys. We'll be starting off with tight with Bulldogs Titans, so you don't want to miss it, guys. Thanks for watching.